Welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of October 15th, 2020. When it comes to the second stimulus check and stimulus package, there has been progress made. The Republicans have gone one step further and they have made more compromises for the Democrats. Steven Mnuchin said that they will increase their budget for, for the testing to the full $75 billion that Nancy Pelosi is requesting for. And this year. Additionally, the Republicans will also agree to the Democrats' proposal for testing strategy to fight against the pandemic. We will also review the second stimulus package and stimulus check. And schedules, um, basically, you see here. Uh, the second presidential debate was actually scheduled for today, but basically it was canceled. And because of Donald Trump did not want to do a, as he called it, a glorified conference call. So both candidates, Biden and Trump, are basically doing solo debates against themselves in two different states. I don't understand that. I know there's also supposed to be another scheduled debate for the 22nd of this month. We'll find out how that one goes. Okay. <sighs> Today is also the last day of the hearings for the Senate for the Supreme Court Judge nominee, Amy Barrett. Then it's supposedly sometime next week they're supposed to actually go into a full session of voting whether she gets in or not. We'll find out. Because I've been doing some research on that, uh, basically, the Affordable, uh, Affordable Care Act by Obamacare, basically. And basically, why they want to get rid of it is because why keep a bill that makes people get, basically, health insurance and have no penalty? When it originally started off, Obamacare actually had a penalty to your taxes if you didn't have health insurance. Well, in the, during the years since he's been gone, they've decreased that penalty amount to a zero dollar amount. So many states, as well as many other people, also feel that keeping Obamacare is very unconstitutional. I lift that one up. <laughs> okay, unemployment claims also came in today, and the claims are at nine hundred, sorry, eight hundred ninety-eight thousand, which is higher than last week. In fact, it's the numbers are up by over fifty thousand people. This, for uh, this week's numbers. The COVID virus is basically extremely bad in Europe right now. The European Union is now reporting more cases than the United States has, is currently. So let's get you up to speed on the second stimulus check and stimulus package. Note, Mnuchin and Pelosi <laughs> continue to work on the stimulus package negotiations. The Republicans and Democrats are still basically divided on how much they want to spend on the stimulus package. But they have already taken it one step further to the next level by arguing on the finer details of the stimulus package. So basically they want to, they're working out more finer details. Here are some of the main items that they are basically in dispute. Pelosi was cutting down the Republicans package for lacking the, the strategic testing plan. The Democrats have also wanted $75 billion for testing and uh, tracing, but the Republicans were only willing to go to $45 billion. Well, <clears throat> you see, now um, Stephen Mnuchin said this morning that the Republicans will go to their full $75,000 request from, by the Democrats as well as a strategic planning for testing and tracing, also requested by the Democrats. The Republican offer now stands at $1.88 trillion, but this is, this is still a short of what Nancy Pelosi wants of the $2.2 trillion. An additional, the, the additional issues that's going on is with state and local government. Pelosi says the, Repu the Republicans' offer needs to have less restrictions on it, on how the funds are basically spent by these states. The Republicans want to restrict the way the funds are to be used so they won't go to uh, state pensions or pre-pandemic purposes. Mnuchin says 
he don't want to bail out the state, the state and local governments, but but because of their mismanagement of their money before the COVID epidemic ever happened, basically. Pelosi also wants more money for the post office, the census, and tax credits. So who the tax credit going to? I'm wondering about. I mean, are they going to us? Are they going to her? Are they going to the rich? Who's getting the tax credits? That's the so much fun. Trump tweeted, uh, Nancy Pelosi should approve this net needed stimulus now. I actually have a little, I'll put a little clip up here of what actually said. Most often, Democrats agree with. <laughs> he said, most, uh, most of the Democrats agree Republicans are ready to go and he's ready to sign. Trump wants a deal done now, but says if it isn't passed before election, his election time, it will be passed shortly after election time. Like I said, the unemployment came out at 898,000, which is up by more than 50,000 claims for last week. Well, for the, the week ending today from last week. But until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, an excellent night. Please stay safe. Remember, we're all in this together.